and clean exercise to assist up. It's a power, power explosive movement. Okay, we're gonna grab the bar, shoulder width, okay? Wrist slightly curled under the bar, okay? Your knees are going to be bent, hips back with your shoulders over the bar. All this really is, is a jump shrug, and we're catching it on our shoulders. The difference between this and a front squat and a back squat, it generates 15 to 20 times the peak power of a squat. So our, our elbows are out, this, this prevents us from reverse curling the bar. So you bent knees, hips back, shoulders over the bar, elbows out. From this position, it's an explosive shrug, driving up, brushing the bar off your hips, shrugging and pulling. Okay, so from this angle right here, you'll see straight ahead, I'm not pumping the bar out, it's straight up in a shrug with my elbows out. From that position, we catch the momentum. Obviously, we can shrug a lot more than we can pull. So if we, if we start off bending our elbows, we're pulling ourselves down to the bar. Gail Hatch, USA Olympic weightlifting coach, has a famous quote, elbows bend, power ends. Don't want to bend those elbows. So wrist curl, elbows lock, looking straight ahead. From the shrug, we catch that momentum and pull, we're on our toes. From this position here, we're just shifting and catching, okay? You don't want to go too wide. Just like as a front squat and a back squat, your knees are shoulder width apart, okay? So we're gonna catch it here, elbows up, okay? We start here, hip width. Hip width, shoulder width, start hip width. Curl under the bar, one, one, movement right here. Up, catch. Shrug, pull, catch. From the front, elbows out, shrug, pull, shift, and catch. 